Hello informal geometry, this is Miss Marsh. So today we're going to look at 4.6, which is on medians of a triangle. Um, you're going to want to have the note page packet that the sub has handed out to you, a calculator, and then a pen or a pencil so you can write in the notes as you're working. So today what we're going to look at is what's known as a median. And a median is a segment that connects a midpoint to the angle across from it. So if you remember, the midpoint was a point who cut the side in half. So what that means is if I draw in my midpoint, so let's say I'm going to find my midpoint, and it's going to be right about there. That means that this side is equal to this side. They both have the same length. Now if I draw in my median, I'm going to take this, this point and I'm going to draw down to the angle across, right there. So that is my median. Now I can do that on every single side. So I'm going to find my median over here. It looks like it's about there. And I'm going to put a double mark here and a double mark here. So that means that this side right here, this to this, is equal to this to this. Then I'm going to draw my median in. So I'm going to draw a line straight across to the dot right there. Now I'm going to do my last median. I'm going to find the midpoint, so it's about right there, I think. So this side is equal to this side. So from here to here is equal to this to this. So those two sides are equal distance. So if this side, let's say, is 13, I have a distance of 13 over here. So then I'm going to also draw in my median right there. So now, something that's really cool is where these three points are intersecting, right there where I'm drawing in, that has a very special name. It's called the centroid. So where your three medians are going to intersect, it's called the centroid, and that's going to be a point to usually... I think a lot of the time we'll call it point P, but sometimes you might see it called point C. So what's cool about this centroid is it makes the median into a short piece and a long piece. So I have a short piece right here. You see my short piece? Change the color here quick so we can take a look. I have a short piece right here it looks like where I'm putting the blue. And then I have this long piece right here. Here. So what this median or what this centroid does is it separates my median into a one-third to two-thirds ratio. Now I'm going to show you the easier way to actually get the measurements of those. So this is stuff definitely what you want to get down. So how do I find the lengths of each of these parts? So first I like to start by identifying what are they asking for and what are my, they giving me. Are they giving me the shorter piece of the median? Are they giving me the full median? Or are they giving me the longer piece of the median? Now, our first objective is to always get the shorter piece. It's so much easier to give, give us the shorter piece. So if they give you the shorter piece, you're just good. You're done after that. But if they do not give us that, we need to find it. So if we are given the full median, we're going to divide it by three. That's going to give us the shorter piece. If they give us the longer piece of that median, we're going to divide by 2. That gets us the short piece. So depending on what they already given you in the problem, we can find the shorter piece. Now, based on that shorter piece, we can find the rest of the lengths. So to get the full median, you're going to multiply by 3. And to get the longer piece of the median, you're going to multiply by 2. So Either when you want to get the short piece, you're going to divide. And if you want to get the longer pieces, you're going to multiply. Kind of makes sense in a little bit. So you're going to want to make sure you get all of these down on your note sheet. So if you need to pause right now, go ahead and pause and then, re and then restart it right from here. And we'll start some practice on this. So here's the first practice. They tell me E is the centroid. So that lets me know that I have 
a centroid right here. That's my E. And they tell me AD is 27. So I'm going to mark in AD here with my light blue color. So they say right here where I'm coloring in with light blue, they say that is 27. So now I'm first going to identify what did they give me. They gave me the full median. So this guy is the full median. Then I want to look here. DE. DE is the shorter guy because he looks shorter. So he's the shorter piece. And it looks like AE is the longer piece. So I'm going to put longer piece. This just kind of lets me know what do I have, what do they want. So if you remember back and look back at your notes, the way to get the shorter piece from the full median is you're going to divide by 3. So I'm going to go 27, the number of my full median, and I'm going to divide by 3. So 27 divided by 3, if you do that on your calculator, you should see that you get an answer of 9. So I know DE is equal to 9. Now, that I have my shorter piece, I can unlock my longer piece. So if you look at the next part of the, that slide I just was on, to get the longer piece from the shorter piece, you always multiply by 2. So we're going to go 9 times 2, which is 18. So I have found all three that they have asked. They asked for the full median, that's what they gave me. They asked for the shorter piece and they asked for the longer piece. Now, you can do a double check. You can see does 18 plus 9 give you the full median? And if you do the math, it actually does and it always should. So if you want to make sure that you're doing it correctly, you can always check your answer and see if you actually get the correct word, the correct number at the end. And like I said, remember, the larger median piece is two times the smaller median piece. Let's take a look at another example. So they tell me P is the centroid. So I have right here, he is the centroid. He's in the center. That's a good way to remember it. So they gave me RP, it looks like, is 10. So I have been given RP, R to P, is 10. Now, RP, he looks like he is the longer piece of the median. So I got longer piece. PT, P to T. He looks like he's the smaller piece, or the shorter piece in that mat. RT is the full median. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out from the longer piece, I need to get to the smaller piece. So I'm going to divide by 2. So the shorter piece is always the longer piece divided by 2, because they are a 2 to 1 ratio. So I have 10 divided by 2, and that's going to give me a 5. So now I have a smaller piece. I can find anything from the smaller piece. So my full median is my smaller piece times 3. So 5 times 3, and that gives me 15. Now if I add my longer piece and my smaller piece, 10 plus 5, I do in fact get 15. That lets me know that I have done this problem correctly. So let's take a look at these. They want me to find BE and ED given that BD is 24. So I'm going to put a little note off to the side here what they want me to find. So I want BE and they want me to find also ED. So I'm going to put equals. Now BD, B to D is the full median. So I have the full median right there. BE is the longer piece. And ED is the shorter piece. So now I'm going to figure out, so they gave me the full. So I'm going to figure out the shorter piece first. Remember, we always want to find out the shorter piece. So the full is 
three times as long as the shorter piece. So what I can do is 24 divided by 3. And that's going to give me an 8. So my shorter piece is 8 units long. Now, BE, my long piece, is 2 times the length of the shorter piece. So I have 8 times 2, which gives me 16. And then I check, does 16 plus 8 equal 24? It does. 16 plus 8 does equal 24. So I know I have done that problem correctly. So now I'm going to look at the next one. I have IG and JG. So I'm going to write off down here. I'm going to say IG equals and JG equals. Now they gave me IJ. I to J. That looks like that's the small piece. And IG looks like he's the full median. And JG looks like he's the large piece. Now, this is wonderful when they give you the small piece. This means all I'm going to do is multiply. So I know my full median is 4 times 3 to get my full median. So 4 times 3, that gives me an answer of 12. Then my larger piece is 2 times the small piece. So 4 times 2, which gives me an 8. So I have found the two missing pieces that they didn't know about yet. So now I'm also going to need to do number 3 here. I have OL. They want to find ON, ON, and NL. So down here I'm going to put ON and NL. So ON, or no, what did they give me? They gave me OL, and OL looks like he's the longer piece. So they gave me the long piece this time. So ON then, he looks like he's the shorter piece. Now, usually you can figure it out by inspection who's the long piece and the short piece, because this guy looks a sh lot shorter than this guy. Now, NL is the full guy. He's the full median. So I remember the long piece, I always want to get to the short piece before I find the next one. So I know that the long piece is two times the short piece. So what I need to do is 20 divided by 2, which if you do on your calculator quick, you should get an answer of 10. So 10 is the length of ON. Now the full median is 3 times the short piece. So 3 times my shorter piece, which was 10, I get 30. So my full median is 30. Now if I check my answer, shorter piece plus long piece, so 20 plus 10, I do in fact get 30. Let's check a look at these examples. So they gave me BF, they want me to find EF and BE. So they gave me BF, BF, that is the full median. And on your worksheet today, you're gonna wanna identify these. Otherwise, you're not very, you're gonna be having a lot of trouble figuring out what do I have to solve for and am I multiplying or am I dividing? So EF is the smaller piece, and BE, he looks like he's the larger piece. So I have the full median. Now remember, I always want to get the smaller piece first. So from the full median, I'm going to do what with that 24? I'm going to divide by 3. So I'm going to go 24 divided by 3, and that's going to give me 8. So I get an answer of 8 on that one. Now, my larger piece, I need to multiply the 8 by 2. So I'm going to go 8 times 2, which is 16. So I found the two, num or two lengths that they wanted me to get. Now. Let's look over here at example three. They want me to find KH, 
No, they gave me KH. They want me to find JH. So they want just one thing found. So they gave me KH. They gave me KH is 12. Now it looks like he is the longer piece. And JH looks like he is the full median. So this guy's the full median. Now, just to make sure I can get these, because I always want to have the shorter piece. So I'm going to find JK, just so it's easier for me to find the full median. So this JK right here, he is the smaller piece. So the longer piece, if you remember, to find the short piece from the longer piece, I'm going to divide by 2. So 12 divided by 2 is going to give me a 6. Now, my full median is 6, a.k.a. smaller piece, times 3. So I'm going to go 6 times 3, which gives me an answer of 18. So I have found the length of JH by finding first that smaller piece. Now, here is the last thing for the day. So in triangle STR, H is the centroid. So I know H is directly smack dab in the middle here. They want me then to find, they give me EH is 6. DH is 4 and SM equals 24. So before I even start answering any of these questions, I want to figure out what did they give me. So EH, if I look over here, that looks like he is a small piece. That's good. I always like when I get small piece. DH looks like he's another small piece. That's another good sign. And it looks like SM is the full length. That I do not like very much. So over here, I'm going to label. I have EH right here is 6. I'm going to put a 6 there. DH, they gave me that is another. Oh, that's 4. Can't write today. There we go. That is a 4, so DH is 4. SM is 24, so that full length. So what I want to do, I want to find what the smaller piece of SM is. So that it looks like that is the smaller piece of HM. So this guy is the small piece. So the full length was 24. Now, if you remember, to find the small length, you're going to take the full length divided by 3. So I'm going to go 24 divided by 3. And that is going to give me 8. So I know my short length is 8. Now if I look over here, they asked for HM, they did. So I know HM is 8. So now over here, let's go figure out what they want. They want SH. SH is right here. That looks like it's the long piece that's related to HM. So long piece, remember, is always 2 times short piece. So long piece would be 2 times the short piece that I have, which is 8. So 2 times 8, 16. Now, TH looks like he's the long piece to DH. So he's the long piece. And he's related to DH. So I'm going to do 2 times DH. DH looks like he's 4. So 2 times 4 gives me an answer of 8. Now, T, D, and I should actually be writing these in. S, H, I got 16. T, H, I got 8. Now, T, D, that's the full median. So he is the full median, and he is related to D, H. So, Full median, remember, I'm always going to take the small piece and multiply by 3. So I'm going to go 4 times 3, and that's going to give me 12. Now, if I would have done the math, 8 plus 4, that is 12. So I know I have the correct answer there. Now, HR looks like he's the long piece, 
and he looks like he's related. His short piece is EH. So now I'm going to take that short piece and multiply by two. So six times two, because EH was six, six times two is 12. So I found him. They want to know ER. So they want to know E to R. So that's a full guy. So remember, this is the full piece. Now, the full piece, you're going to take the short piece of EH and multiply by 3. So I'm going to go 6 times 3. And that's going to give me 18. So I have found every single one that they wanted based on only three of the things that they gave me. That is the rest of the notes. So you guys have a worksheet to work on. I'll take any questions tomorrow when I'm back. So have a good night and have a terrific Tuesday.